Oh, well, look, it's TMZ. Is he like stalking them? Who are they following? I like the shorts though, bro. They are pretty sexy. TMZ is horrible. They make everyone look so bad. This has nothing to do with this, but I am subscribed to TMZ and I really like them. Oh my god, that's obnoxious. Is that Jonah Hill? Okay. I haven't seen this yet. Have a good day. Enjoy. Suck my dick. Oh! Uh, Suck my dick. Whoa! Suck my dick. Oh, a real bully. <laughs> Suck my dick. Oh, a real bully. Wow, that was insane. Welcome back to our, our, our show. I appreciate you being here. We always like you as a kid. <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. And uh, I'd actually like to address something, if that's OK, to your audience. Um, this weekend, I was out with some friends. Uh -huh. And there was a paparazzi guy, and he was antagonizing me. That was him. Uh, calling me names, uh, attacking me personally and my family personally. And I If was, someone kept bothering you, I'm sure you're going to turn around and cuss him out. In response, I wanted to hurt him back. And I said the most hurtful word that I could think of at that moment. Uh, you know, I didn't mean it in a homophobic way. And uh, I can tell he genuinely feels bad about it, though. I think that. Sorry, I think that. Oh, he's, um, he's starting to cry. Uh, Don't cry. You know how you mean things doesn't matter. Words have weight and meaning. You know, no one deserves to say or hear words like that. I've been a supporter of the LBGTQ community my entire life and I completely let the members of that community and everybody else down when I used a word like that this weekend and I genuinely am deeply sorry to anyone who's ever been affected by that term in their life I don't deserve or expect I have so many mixed feelings about this what I ask is that at home if you're watching this and you're a young person especially if people seem to think that yeah, celebrities like aren't also me. people. Use me as an example of what not to do. Oh, okay. And don't respond with hatred or anger. Aww. Because you're just adding more ugliness to the world. And again, I just, I'm so sorry. Good celebrity. Good celebrity. I was like, yeah, you tell the paparazzi off. But I, I didn't think he said that. I, I thought he said, suck my dick, you f I was like, oh, awesome. I didn't, I didn't catch the... Other one. That was really responsible. I was actually surprised. I didn't think he was going to do that. I'm here with two-time Oscar nominee Jonah Hill. He is back with a new movie. Sucks that he had to go on so talk many like talk shows and talk about this. I'd be so sick of it. And you had a run-in with a Shannon Taylor. You used language that you regret. You know, the only thing I really have to add is that I personally vow to never, ever use that word ever again, and I urge everyone to do the same. How can you vow to not say a word? What if it accidentally slips out your mouth? Huh? I'm like uh, lost for words. Like that's that was a real stand up. Did watching this make you start thinking about things in your personal life? No. <laughs> most definitely. Yes. Oh, most definitely. Yes. I have said some things that I did not mean to come out of my mouth, and I felt terrible. Oh, it's the worst feeling in the world. Yeah, because I mean, just thinking about that, I mean, maybe not words that specific way, but I've been affected by words like that more in a racist way. It makes me think about what the things I have said in the past towards certain people, and I mean, not meaning it in any specific way, just, just in the light of the rage I was saying it. I was raised in a household where right off the bat I knew that words that have homophobic meanings to them aren't acceptable to use in a derogatory or like hurtful manner so there's not one time i can think of me calling someone a faggot in a mean way uh actually real recently i almost got into a real big fight uh with something like I, people i've been friends with for four years all of high school and all of a sudden they started you know uh, just not being real nice to me and then i said the same thing i called them that word i guess i didn't even think about it too like, I just said it, and I was like, damn, that's really got to watch what you say. Do you personally feel that what he said was offensive? Not really, because I heard a lot worse than that. No, because here's the thing. I mean, we're all humans. Everyone who's anybody has been hurt or pissed off once in their life, and then they've gotten mad and, like, let's say just said whatever they feel. No, like, suck my dick, faggot. Everyone says that. It depends on the context it's used in. 
and who it's said to. It's definitely offensive um, to the LGBT community. I would find it offensive to say, but I mean, it's also I feel hypocritical when I say that because I mean, I've said stuff maybe not exactly like that or that similar to it, but I've said stuff in that light. I thought it was offensive and it wasn't necessary at all. Like he could have just kept going and just got in into his car and left and just ignored it. So do you personally feel that he needed to apologize because he said this? No. The guy wouldn't have left if he would have said, oh, please leave me alone. Because he's, he's just trying to get shots for him to make money. I don't see it as a huge deal. I mean, it's someone responding from being hurt or like, let's say, being annoyed or pissed. It, it happens. I think he did need to apologize for it. If he said a word like, ah, for example, I feel like that's that can be just as offensive though. But he wouldn't have to apologize for that because that doesn't refer to like a specific group of people. I think it was really responsible of him to like publicly apologize so selflessly and admit to his wrong. Like, And it wasn't just like, he didn't just tweet about it. Like, sorry for that thing I said. And what do you think about him deciding to handle this by responding to it directly while doing all this press for 22 Jump Street? It's gonna help the movie. He has a new movie out, he wants you to go see it. I think that's great. I feel that is really respectful that he did that. That's pretty great that he's, because he knows what he did and he regrets it and he's apologizing for it, even though it's for everything that when he has that time to apologize for, it's went for something completely different, but he's doing it anyway. I feel like he shouldn't be doing it with every single interview. I feel like what he said is enough and there doesn't need to be any more explanation because he seems really genuine with his apology. And when these types of things happen with celebrities and they make these apologies, sometimes they'll get criticized that they're just doing it to save face. Do you feel like Jonah Hill was being sincere? I feel like he actually was. Just the tone of his voice when he was doing the announcement, you could tell that he really was sorry. For somebody that comes from that type of a background of comedy that makes fun of those types of people, it sounds really sincere when he says publicly that he supports that group of people. I think he's been pretty sincere. He I still, I still up. don't, I still don't think like, I think if you say something, whether you're angry or not, it still means something in you somewhere. Mm -hmm. So like, maybe not those specific words, but he still meant some type of harm. And has your opinion of him changed at all after this whole thing? No. No. I like him more because of this. I think now I have a little more respect for him. No. I'm always gonna have my opinion of somebody and nothing's gonna really change unless they do something so drastic. I've always seen him as like a really like sweet, adorable guy that you just wanna like hug and like be friends with, have tea parties with. I don't know why he said that. So away from this situation, let's talk about paparazzi for a second. Okay. What are your thoughts about our society that we allow this profession of essentially stalking celebrities to be something acceptable in our culture? I think that's stupid. I think it's awful. I'd I punch one of them in the face. I mean, those paparazzi that just go do that all the time, let's see how they would like it if there were a thousand people People like super glued to them, not leaving anywhere they went. They had no privacy, and then if they if they say one word, they can blow it out of context. I mean, it's their job, and I get that. Like they have to make a living. They get their job, and like they, they need they, that's how they get money for their families. But they're also exploiting these people who are really didn't do anything to them. When you are a celebrity, you subject yourself to that. Like you realize you're in the limelight. You wanted everybody to know who you are and everybody to hound you. It's for entertainment. <laughs> that's the only reason. It's sad, it's sick, it's disgusting and disturbing, but that's what people want. How common would you say that words like Jonah used, or even a simpler phrase of calling someone or something gay is used negatively today? All the time. I mean, just saying, oh, that's so gay, that's used 24-7 by so many people. Way too much. That donut right there, that's not gay. It's a donut. It has sprinkles on it. That doesn't make it gay. It happens all over school and stuff like that. People get bullied over words like that. I that just think word just shouldn't be used whatsoever. It's never used in a good way. Unless, you know, someone says, I'm gay. No one goes, I'm a faggot. Before um, gays and lesbians were like widely accepted, that being gay was a bad thing um, to society. So now we use that word just to uh, demonstrate whatever's bad. Over time, like that word just changed its meaning over and over and over and now it just means bad basically. It's all about connotation, what you mean behind the words, because the words themselves, no word can ever do anything in the world to hurt you. It's the meaning behind the word that's gonna hurt you. And what are your thoughts even how it's not even just used as an insult to a person, it's used as an adjective for something that is lame or stupid. That's even worse. Why can't you use a more mature word than like like raise your vocabulary. But then again, I say like, that's that's gay, you know, like, but I'm not meaning it towards gay people. I'm not 
in a sense, I've said it um, in the lame way. I'm like, wow, that, that man, your computer's so gay, whatever. Oh man, that kill was so gay in Call of Duty. Looking back on it, I'm like, wow, I'm a horrible person. Like, that's not okay to say. We all know how people are and you can't just get them to change. Sure, the cloud boy just tell everyone, don't use that word anymore. But that's not, you know, that's not, like, that's not gonna happen. We all know that. That's like horribly offensive to any gay person around, especially young people who are so often like not open about their sexuality to be like pointed out like that, like, oh, that's gay. And you're just sitting there and you're like, you, you know, you're not gonna just go out and tell your friends, like, don't say that because that's really offensive because then they're like, oh, what's wrong, dude? Are you gay? There are people out there that don't even know that it's an insult, but they're just saying it because they hear other people saying it. And that's the worst. Like little kids, they don't even know it's an insult and they're saying it all the time. I remember when I was little and I didn't even know what the word meant, but I was still using it in a negative way. I thought it meant stupid. I didn't mean know it meant anything towards the, the homo area. I just always thought gay equals stupid. And then when I learned what it means, I completely stopped using the word. Like that word exited my vocabulary entirely. Have you been called some of those things before? I, I think everybody has. All the time by my friends, but I, we don't take it seriously towards each other. Yeah, it happens, especially on the football field. That happens a lot, that's bad. Of course. Have you met me? I'm so feminine. <laughs> it used to hurt, but like, I don't care anymore because some people are gonna be mean, but so many more people are gonna be nice that it outweighs the bad. My best friend and I get that all the time. Oh, you're lesbians. I love her on like a friendship level, but I hate that I have to define it that way. Okay, I love her, but on a friendship level. Like it's just a friendship thing, I swear. Like why can't I just say like, I love you and you're my best friend. People think of it as such a bad thing or such a complete, oh my God, you're this thing that they've made it, that people have to be scared to be that, to be scared to be themselves because they can't be what they are without getting ridiculed. When I was in elementary school, I was very, very outgoing and like very loud and expressive and fun. And when I was in high school um, and middle school, people would always call me that or like they would say things like that because I can be very feminine, I guess. Like the way I talk, the way I talk with my hands a lot and everyone's like, oh my God, that's such a gay thing to do. I came from like this really like happy, fun kid. I became so insecure, I felt like everyone was judging every single move I was making. People think saying something like that's so gay, it's such a simple thing, but even though it's so simple, it can cause such a complex and complicated effect on people. And I think people need to take that into account more. A lot of people call using words like that to be a, something that's homophobic. Do you consider it that way? I don't think it's homophobic because to be homophobic, you have to hate gay people. And if you use that word and you don't hate gay people, then it's not homophobic. I mean, I don't really consider it homophobic to use it. Um, I'm Like, it's just a thing that people say. I'm all for gays and lesbian, every, like, just like equality for all, basically. I'm all for it. And just because I use certain words doesn't mean I'm homophobic. I think you just didn't use certain words because they're hurtful. Even if you don't mean it in intention, you just didn't use it, period. Everybody, no matter who you are, black, white, gay, straight, tra bi, transsexual, pansexual, transgender, I mean, it doesn't matter. You're all people. We're all the same. Just because we have different genes and act different ways doesn't make us different from anybody else. If you're using words like that, it's that you don't even care about these people. You don't care about the people that have been through these hard times, be through this ridicule, because they are gay. You're using it like you're against them, like you don't even care. Can you talk about the idea, though, that no one uses phrases like, oh man, you're so straight, or he's so hetero, as a negative, but yet feel it's okay to use words like gay to be negative, but not the other way around? Well, because straight and, and heteros, like, the people consider them normal. So that's why when you people use the word Ah, uh, that's a hard question. We're getting we're getting deep. If you get down to like the root of it all, it's really kind of a messed up thing that we use the words um, gay, faggot as negative words when the on the other side we're straight and hetero, it's really not a bad thing at all. Do you feel that it's okay to use these derogatory phrases in certain settings if you don't mean it in the way that is being negative? If it's not to hurt somebody and it's just to let's say your slang for describing something or saying something that I don't see the problem with it. When it comes to race, it shouldn't be done like that either. Religion shouldn't be done like that. But I mean, people do it, comedians do it. I've made jokes about it, I've been that guy. But I mean, I'm also that, so I can do it. But I mean, that, that also, me saying that, I sound stupid because that shouldn't give me the excuse to say it. 
but I do it anyway. People always get angry. They say what they want to say, but at the end of the day, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Bottom line. So don't sugarcoat it and try to make it something it's not. Even if I'm like in a big area and there's someone there, someone, um, a stranger who's just, who happens just to be gay, who overheard me, um, the way he would look at me, he would totally decharacterize me. He would think so much lesser of me. In the grand scheme of things, it's really, I shouldn't be using those words anymore. How does that poor, like, kid who just wants to be himself but can't, or wants to be herself but she can't, how do they feel? How do they know you're joking? Like, oh, go kill yourself. Kidding. It's not, it's not a joke. Jonah Hill specifically called out younger people. Why do you think he specifically was targeting younger people that might be watching him? Well, I mean, young people obviously say it a lot more, you know, the older you get, you kind of deter from using those words, but whenever you're younger, you know, you can say whatever you want because you think you're like Superman. I don't see like my mom saying that kind of stuff. You know, there's not a big group of 40 year olds who are like, that's gay. Like that's, it's like a young, generation thing. If Jonah Hill said the word faggot in such a casual way, they're going to think it's okay to use that in such a casual way. And for him to be like correcting his mistake and saying, no, don't ever say this, they're more inclined to not. He's targeting us because his generation and older, that's kind of their mindset. That's because that's what they grew up on, that they think in that kind of way. He's hoping that us, as who we are, that we learn not to do the stuff that he's done. Any final thoughts about words that also can represent people being used as an insult, is it ever okay? It's never okay. I don't think it's right for people to stereotype any community or anyone. I'm not, not your dad. Like, I'm not gonna say, don't do that, guys. You can say whatever the heck you want with your friends around, just, be aware of who's actually around you. I know it's completely wrong and that what I'm saying goes like I'm against that community even though I know personally that I'm not. It makes it sound like I am because of what I'm saying. That's the kind of stuff that does sadly make people take their own lives and harm themselves and people don't think of that. Words are words and we do have to be careful what come, what we say and we have to watch what we say, but then again, we also want to relax and say whatever we want, you know? So there's definitely a fine line between when it's okay and when it's not. I am hoping that one day we can just stop caring about what words mean and what words weight is. Everyone is the same person. It just kind of like opened my eyes a little bit. I think that is something we should just not do. Everyone should just be other oriented all the time and just think of others. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Peace and love, guys.